It's a pleasure to introduce our device manager system for you. And uh, this is a main page which need to log it in. If you type in the username and the password, you can log it in. And this is our um, GIS information. You see, you can see this is a China Chinese map, and uh, on this map we have uh, several devices. The blue color means the device is online. The gray color means the device is temporarily offline. If you wanted to, uh, we can we can detect any device in status on this map. Uh, the, one of the most important part function is device management. This is a uh, device management, and you can choose in the directory. You can choose the province and uh, the the very device. This is device information summary, device name, and the device directory address, IP address. And this is uh, some of the device information, such as the management server IP. And uh, this is the device status, such as running time, the CPU rate, and uh, temperature. And you can control the whole device, such as reboot, <coughs> false reboot, and uh, time synchronize. And this is uh, Radio frequency, radio uh, switch. You can turn it on or turn it off. This is a, uh, an example of the baseband. Here is the China mobile four generation band. We support every operator and every band of the international standardized uh, wireless communication system. Here is the working frequency options such as uplink frequency and the downlink frequency. This is a physical CRID and tracking error code. This is a public land mobile network. In China, this is a China Telecom. Still, you can search, you can check out the power of the band it's for uh, 39 dBm, almost uh, 10 volt. And this is a redirect option. You can, when you catch the user equipment image, and you can redirect it to the two generation or three generation band. This is two generation, this is three generation. The others is the other examples of the China band. This is a China Telecom. This is a China Unicom. This is a two generation of China Mobilecom. You can still check the software of version and update. Okay, can we have the sweep function? We can automatically automatically detect the operator's working frequency parameters. You can see this is a sweeping log. This means a two generation base station lack frequency, BSIC, and so on. This is a device warning. You can choose any one, any device on any data between and see what, which, how many types of warning the device generated. And uh, 
The most important part is the data display and the data processing. This is a real-time data upload and the display. We can catch the MEC and the MA and the mobile phone's Wi-Fi MAC address. And this is the phone number calculated by algorithm. And this is the location which city is a, the MEC belongs to and the operator. We have many other great functions for data processing. Such so as data query, you can input part of the full 15 degrees of the MEC and check out the result. Here, the 46011 means the China Telecom. And you still can have the data amount calculus status. The data from the day before yes, yesterday to today show the result. We have still a little problem with the graphic, but the number is, is correctly calculated. Most of the part is the crash analysis, which means you choose one device and one data in the very detailed time. And then you choose another device with another time. And you can um, you can calculate which image shows both in the two devices in both the exactly time. Still, we have the complete analysis which image coexisted with the with others. And uh, we still have the parameter analysis, which means here is an example. These three days, uh, this image appears more than 900 times. We could suppose that he lives here. Here is the uh, tracking an analyze. We can show which image shows in every device in any time with the within the map. This is a one another important function alert. You can set the alert people here. Input the image and the name and set the Status alert and choose one manager submit. And when this image shows up on any device, it will pop out an alert info and we will still have a bell ringing sound. And still, we can send a message to the operator's telephone. Operator telephone user such as you choose this user this manager the telephone will receive a message of the alert info here is the here's the data export function you can choose any time between and choose the one or all of the operator one or all of the device or the image exported into an Excel data sheet. Last, uh, most important function is software management. We can up automatically update the device software from the server. And uh,
um, this is uh, some main the main function of our server and uh, we'd like to we'd like to have communication with you thank you